hi guys yeah welcome back to my channel today we'll be starting with solubility calculation and why am i shooting this video on solubility calculation is because one of my students put a text across to me that she needs explanation on solubility calculation basically for those of you preparing for jam examination and before we can go deep to the calculation first and foremost what do we understand by solubility solubility of a solute in a solvent at a particular temperature is the maximum amount of solvent in either in gram or more that sorry the solubility of a solute in a solvent at a particular temperature is the maximum amount of solute in gram or more that we saturate one dm cube of solvent at that temperature and if you are to look at how broad solubility calculation is all about for those of you preparing for jam out today this video is for you because there are some particular calculation i'll be dropping here as well as a formula that you need very well so for example now if i say solute plus solvent will yield solution don't forget the definition earlier that the solubility of a solute in a solvent at a particular temperature is the maximum amount of solute in in gram or more that will saturate one dm cube of a what a solvent so the first formula that you are going to look at as a jam byte is we have more multiplied by 1000 over volume this is the first formula the second one is more multiplied by 1000 over mass of water the third formula is solutes over molar mass multiplied by 1000 over volume of solution this is the third formula why the fourth formula states the solute times 1000 over molar mass multiplied by mass of water so to the jump out i that look at this four formula you have on the board we have more than this four i'll, I'll be adding two more for those of you that have issues with assimilating formula or because many jam students are funny enough that they will cram this formula to the examination or you don't have to cram this video will serve as a guide for you to like get it even without you cramming the formulas so we have solute over solvent multiplied by 1000 this the unit for this is gram per dm cube like this solute over solvent multiply by 1000 over molar mass Hello? the unit for this one is mole Are you there? per dm cube so guys looking at what you have on the body here we'll be playing with some examples that are related to jam and with what the formulas you have on the board now the first question states calculates the solubility in more per dm cube of 0 0.32 of copper sulfates dissolved in 100 cm cube of solution so looking at this question on the board states calculate the solubility in more per dm cube of 0 0.32 more of copper sulfate dissolved in 100 cm cube of solution at 180 degree we are looking at this question on the board this is a question one class are you with me now more times 1000 of what volume if you look at that question you are given the volume already 
and the volume here is 100. Why the more given is what? 0.32. So to those of you here, you know when you get to your jump center, you will not be provided what we call the scientific calculator. Rather, you have the screen calculator there. So you have to like mind the way you spend much time on calculation. What you are going to do is when you see the question, you should know the kind of formula you'll be using. So this is the formula I'll be using here. States what the more is equal to 0 0.32. The volume is equal to 100 cm cube. Then, what you have here is 1000. Nothing is changing there. So, with what we have here in our class, we can say 0 0.32 multiplied by 1000 over 100. So, this we cancel this. This we cancel this. We are left with this, which is. 0 0.32 multiplied by 10 so we are having what 3.2 the unit for this is cm cube the unit for this is what cm cube and here we have what more so we have what 3.2 more so class if you are given a question like this you don't have to stress yourself they will state it in the question that this value is for more so guys, let's take a look at the second question. This question is related to jump correction. So you can say correction two. State calculates the solubility in more per dm cube of 2.0 gram of copper sulfate dissolve. So class, this question you have on the body here is a jump question. I repeat, a what? A jump question. The question goes thus. Calculate the solubility in more per dm cube in jam. They will always state it for you if they want to the answer in gram per dm cube or they want to the answer in more per dm cube. Now, solubility in more per dm cube of 2.0 gram of copper sulfate a question like this it is stated clearly that 100 gram of water that is the mass of water is given to be 100 gram so guys look up so you can say the solute we have 2.0 gram are you with me 1000 is there without nothing is going to what happen to this the molar mass of copper sulfate so you'll be in jam jam is not a wicked to the extent that they won't provide you with any parameters so they'll provide you with what a parameter so here we have 63.5 plus you know our c here is what 63 s here is given to be what 32 plus this 16 here this oxygen here is about 16 but we're having four there. So that will give us 16 times 4. So with that class, you can say we have 63.5 plus 32 plus 16 times 4 is 64. So with that, we can say 63.5 plus 32 plus 64 will give us what? 159.5 gram per mole. That is a unit. So now, what is the mass of water so you can say mass of water is given to be this which is 100 gram so with that let's go let's go class the solute is what 2.0 gram the molar mass is what 159.5 gram per mole multiplied by 1000 over 
what is the mass of water we have what class here 100 gram so guys this is cancel this so we are left with this cancel this so we are left with 2.0 multiplied by 10 we have 20 divided by this 159.5 so we can say 20 divided by 159.5 so i have 0 0.125 more per dm you know initially we are having what here class more and gram here so if you have any question like this i will advise you said you have 0 0.125 multiply by 1000 because if you have to divide by 1000 because you might not have the what the correct answer so you have to multiply by 1000 so this answer you have and i said multiply by 1 dm cube but 1 dm cube here is equivalent to 1000 watt cm cube and you must have our answer in watts more per dm cube so this in jump if you come across 0 0.125 or 125 more per dm cube either you have this as a final answer so this is a correct answer or better still if 0 0.125 is not there but you're having one to five more per dm cube so it was a pick it out of the two so guys these are two questions now so we're going to look at three more questions yeah guys so this is the third question it said 3.06 gram of a sample of potassium trioxychloride 5 for those of you that don't know how to calculate for oxidation number you can check that in my video log was required to make a saturated solution with 10 cm cube of water at 25 degrees Celsius. We have to calculate the solubility of the salt because potassium trioxychloride 5 is a salt. So, guys, look up. We are going to make use of the formula a saturated solution so of water. So, volume of solution. If it is mass of solution, it will be stated in the question. So, now we can say we have we are making use of this formula. Solute is 3.06 gram then the volume of solution equal to we have 10 cm cube the molar mass this is 39 plus 35 plus 16 times 3 so you can say we have 39 plus so this will give us 39 plus 35.5 plus 48 so we have one two two point five gram per mole. So class, look at what we have on the board. We have states all the parameter out there. So this is how it goes. The solute is three point zero six divided by the molar mass, which is this, multiplied by one thousand. This over the volume is what ten. So guys, this cancel this, then we are left with 3.06 multiplied by 100. So divided by 1, 2.5. So we have 2.49. So if we are to approximate this, we have 2.50 more per dm cube in your jump the correct answer is 2.50 more per dm cube so guys if we are given a question like this 
first thing as I've stated earlier before, you will be provided with a scientific calculator. Are you there? So what you'll be given is the screen calculator. And how do you tackle a question like this? The first thing is understand the question first, then understand the kind of formula you're going to use. I told you guys earlier that you don't have to cram any formula when it comes to solubility. So this, I said 25 grams of KCL potassium chlorate we are dissolved in 80 grams of this state water this question is done question to 2010 all the questions i'll be solving since are jam related question so for those of you that which are familiar with your past question before and you come across this video you and you don't you have issues with solubility when you come across the video this will serve as a guide for you when you are reading so 25 gram of KCL will dissolve in 80 gram of deep state water at 30 degree Celsius. What is the solubility of the solute in mole per dm cube? We are actually look for the what solubility of the solute. So we are going to use this 80 gram of deep state water is the same thing as a mass of water. So our solute is 25. molar mass before I move to the molar mass the mass of water is 80 gram because it is misstated of the correction that in 80 gram of dew state water that 80 gram is something as what the mass of water so the next one is the molar mass of KCL we have 39 plus so this will give us we have 74.5 so gram per mole yes okay now we have all the parameters within us there so let's take back to this formula so guys let's go you can say our solute is 25 gram our molar mass is 74.5 gram per mole multiplied by 1000 over 80 which is the mass of water these cancel this so we can say we have 25 times 100 we have 25500 then 74.5 times 8 we have 596 so 2500 divided by 596 so i have 4.19 so if we are to approximate this we'll be having 4.20 more per dm cube that's our answer so let's quickly take the last question but before we move to the last question please and please when i was defining the definition of solubility I state these six formulas. All the formulas you have on the board will serve as a guide. Again, all the formula you have on the board will serve as a guide. For this kind of question, we can make use of this. The solute is 25, the solvent is 80 gram. So meaning that each of this here can be used for any related solubility question so let's quickly take the last question this is also a jam question so this will serve as the question five states calculates the solubility in more of 40 gram of copper sulfates dissolved in 100 gram of water so we said our copper 64 32 oxygen we have what 16 
So I will make use of this formula to solve that instead of using this mass of water because it is misstated clearly that we have to make use of the mass of water. So let's play with two different formula and see if we can have the same answer. So when we make use of what? Solute solvent we have molar mass so the so the solute here we have fourth okay this is a solute gram solvent we have 100 then the molar mass of CuSO4 we have 64 plus 32 plus 16 times 4 so we have 64 plus 32 plus 60, what 64 so let's add up together 64 plus 32 plus 64 so we have 160 gram per mole so now we are making use of this formula our solute is 40 gram our solvent is 100 gram multiplied by 1000 over 160 gram per mole this cancel this so we can easily say this cancel this this cancel this then we are left with 4 times 100 over 10 times 16 so we have 4 times 100 we give us 400 10 times 16 we have 160 so 400 divided by 160 so we have what 2.5 mole per dm cube so now let's make use of this formula too to check if what is always correct our solute is 40 gram molar mass is 160 multiplied by 1000 over the mass of water is 100 so let's go let's check this cancel this this cancel this so class this cancel this so we have 4 times 10 over 16 you can say 40 over 16 we also have what 2.5 more per dm cube. We can see that it, it's very very simple when it comes to solubility. So we can call this one method one like this method two. And we advise those damn students out there. You know, for your for your damn examination, you have two hours to solve four questions. So I advise you always go for this method two. Why did I tell you to go for this method is because the method two is very short very short and precise then you can easily get without stressing yourself so guys don't forget to subscribe like and share among your friends i'll be dropping more video on gas law soon and periodic table soon thanks